Going green isn't just about the environment. It can also flow straight to a company's bottom line. 50 local employers found out just how big an impact it can have by participating in the Green Workplace Challenge organized by Sustainable Pittsburgh. Together, they saved enough electricity to power 1,500 American homes for a year. And they kept more than 400 tons of waste out of landfills. Well, just how did they do it? Well, they're here to tell us. Phyllis Barber is Senior Environmental Sustainability Consultant with Highmark. Matt Mihalik is Program Director with Sustainable Pittsburgh. And Shema Krinsky is Marketing Director with the Mall at Robinson. And welcome, good to have you all here. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having Thanks for having us. Yeah, Matt, why don't I start with you, although we've done uh, the Green Workplace Challenge several times before on the, on the program. What is it all about? What's, what's the whole idea behind this? It's a program that allows organizations, um, Fortune 500 companies, small businesses, nonprofits, universities, um, to measure their improvement in sustainability. Specifically, we measure energy, water, waste and commuter footprint and see how well organizations can improve upon uh, reducing those things year to year okay. and they've done it for three years in a row. And, and you make it a bit of a friendly competition along the way, right? It, exactly. It's a good opportunity for people to really show their muster. Uh, a lot of people rise to the challenge when they see what uh, other people in their category are doing, especially close to the end. We've had some sprints this year, <laughs> which was great to see. Yeah, well, that's really fun. You've got some, you talk about companies of all sizes. You've got some examples here of a really big one, High Mark, and uh, we're in the middle market with the Mall of Robinson. So, Phyllis, why, why did you want to get involved, or why, why was this a good sure, thing for High Mark today? Sure. Well, at High Mark, we're very committed to the health of our communities, our members, and our employees. So, um, for us, environmental stewardship is a reflection of that, and the Green Workplace Challenge offered us an opportunity to do that. And as Matt mentioned, the healthy competition, that really pushed us, and it really was down to the wire, and then the, the um, guidebook itself gives us a measurable set of actions where we can track our progress throughout the year in these various areas. That's what I, And how about from the perspective of the mall, why did you want to do it? Well, the mall at Robinson has been implementing sustainable practices since 2005, mm -hmm. when our company, Forest City, actually adapted sustainability as one of our core values. So we've had all of these programs we've been doing throughout the years, and this was actually a really good time for us to kind of see how we measure up and how we're doing compared to some other companies in similar size or nature or like-minded. Yeah, Phil mentioned the book. So there's like a whole menu of things that companies can do or think about. Is that the way this works? Over the year we've accumulated over 250 specific measurable actions that organizations can pick and choose from. And they can set their own path, but then we can track what they actually accomplish and measure it. That's okay. what businesses originally wanted about four years ago when we designed this competition and now we're able to follow through and track that. Yeah, how do I know I'm really making a difference? And can I run, <laughs> can you listen to the kind of numbers that really mean, to, mean something to the folks with the green eye shades? Because that's typically where this stuff happens. So I mean, does it make a difference? What, what difference has it made at Highmark? Well, it does make a difference. In the 12 months of the competition, we reduced our energy consumption by 9%. So that's over 2 million kilowatt hours. And a lot of it was due to an interior lighting project we did where we upgraded um, Five, over 5,000 fixtures to LED lighting. Wow. And it finished in the competition year. Uh, the lights were 45% more efficient, and we saved about 20% um, per floor that we added these lights to. That is so crazy. So it does affect our bottom line. 9%, yeah, that's yeah, meaningful. That's, that, yeah, that, that turns <laughs> some heads. <laughs> How about at the mall? Well, from energy consumption, we were able to reduce about 7%, and we have um, actually retrofitted all of the lights, whether it's in the parking lot, it's in our back hallways, it's in our management office. We've changed them all to compact fluorescents, neons, or something similar that is gonna be more energy efficient. And we've been able to save a ton. We have an energy management system. Um, you don't think about this, but we turn our lights on about 10 minutes before we open the mall, and then they shut down about two hours after we close, where in the past we were running them 24 hours a day. Okay. So a lot of it's just efficiencies that you find, and Matt and his team, and working with these other companies, they give you these ideas and these elements that really help you and the tools that you need. It's a, it's a great way to illustrate it. I want or two great examples here of companies that may, the savings really mean something to them. I imagine when you roll everybody up together, you start talking some really big numbers. Yeah, the, this year, so if you look at what we've done over the past three years, the amount of energy that they saved is worth over nine million dollars. Wow. And that's enough energy that could take 10% of the city's housing 
off the grid for a year. That's the amount of effort when you add it all up what it really adds up to. That's and really it's really incredible. impressive. And yeah. we're talking on we're talking electricity, but you're also focusing on waste, you're focusing on water. So when you look across the uh, the footprint, it's really substantial. Yeah, the the water savings, you fill Heinz Field 66 feet with water. The, and waste savings, it's like taking a Boeing 777 that amount of waste out of the landfill. That, so, is, that is crazy. And it's the actions that people working, uh, doing their sustainability work at their jobs every day over the course of a year or over three years. All right, everybody's motivated now to sign up for the Green Workplace Challenge next year. How do they find you? How do they do it? You, you can find all the details about all the top performers and information about next year's competition at the Green Workplace Challenge website, which is gwcpgh.org. Easy enough. Matt Mahalik from Sustainable Pittsburgh. Thanks so much. Phyllis Barber from Highmark and Shema Krinsky from the Mall at Robinson. And congratulations. Thank Thanks Thank so much. You. Yeah, appreciate it. Next up, a return to downtown Pittsburgh to check out what's changed over the past quarter century or so. Stay with us.